Hey everybody, so around here it's getting to be chilly weather. We love that kind of weather. And um, although we're, we're titling this Camp Chili, uh, we're actually not camping, so we're cheating a little bit, but we are on the grill, so this is an awesome uh, recipe to do on the grill. It's so this is an awesome uh, recipe to do on the grill. It's our favorite chili that I've ever had, actually. And I don't mean to brag on it, but it's good. Uh, so here, I'll show you what we start with the ingredients. Uh, we got our Dutch oven ready to go here. Uh, we're going to start those coals in just a second and warm it up. But we got uh, Italian sausage, ground veal, ground beef, grass-fed beef, some Lane's brisket. Our buddy Lane here, there he lives close by to us. Um, ancho chilies. Got two type of different types of beans. All this will be in the description below, okay? Uh, Rotel. We like to get the fire roasted Rotel. Um, everything we like to get in the can is fire roasted. Same goes for our diced tomatoes. We like to get fire roasted diced tomatoes. Um, half a bell pepper, two cups of onion. Uh, you'll see all of this in the description below. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off and we're gonna brown the appropriate amounts of uh, Italian sausage and beef and veal in the Dutch oven. So let's get that going. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get out this Italian sausage. They generally, you can find it by the pound, which is what the the uh, recipe calls for. If it's in casings, uh, take it out of the casing. All right, that's really important. So we're just going to kind of break it up here. Just a little bit. I'll do most of the breaking up while it gets going. All right. So we got that. Uh, we're only going to use half of this veal. I'm making two pots today, so but we're only making half of this veal. And so... Um, I'm gonna use half of this for this recipe. So a half pound of veal. And I'm just gonna kinda wing it. That's about right. Good there. So we'll wrap that up for the next batch. I'm actually gonna make both batches today. And then a full pound. Uh, we're going with the grass-fed beef. This is a Stuart uh, Strauss grass-raised beef. I just really feel like the grass-fed tastes better. I, I know there's a lot of people out there who's like, ah, oh, you're paying for nothing. But, uh, so you can see, it's got a good bit of meat in it. It's got two and a half pounds of, of meat. It makes a pretty, it'll fill that Dutch oven all the way up. And I think this Dutch oven's 14 quarts. I can't remember. Something like that. All right, we'll get that browning. Be back in just a second. All right, guys, so we've got the meat browning right now in the grill uh, on top of the Dutch oven. The grill's starting to warm up nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my veggies. So we're gonna use a half of a green bell pepper. We're gonna use a half of a jalapeno. One half of a serrano pepper. And an entire onion, okay? So it says two cups chopped. I don't know if we're going to use quite that much, but uh, but we'll make sure. Don't worry, because we're going to a lot of a lot of you that don't like that onion taste. We're going to kill this all of these vegetables after this meat's finished. Uh, we're going to remove the meat from the Dutch oven, put all the veggies in there, saute it like crazy, then throw it all back together, and that's when uh, that's when we'll grill it for a little while longer. So anyway, going to go ahead and prep these. Uh, you may have saw this this uh, utensil I'm using here. This is an old cowboy cutter here. Uh, if you don't follow uh, Kent Rollins on YouTube, you really should, especially if you're a camper like we are. He does all kinds of outdoor stuff. He's an old cowboy cook that literally rides around in a chuck wagon and makes some incredible recipes from things in his chuck wagon and his big uh, cast iron stove. I don't remember the name of it. I think Bertha or something like that. But uh, yeah, this thing comes in super handy and uh, I love cooking with this thing. I'll give you a close up of it. You can see that. It's a just a really cool, and it is sharp, buddy. I'm telling you. So I'm going to get started with these veggies. All 
All right, let's see how our meat's looking. Oh yeah. Hey, I probably don't have to tell you guys this, but make sure you get all of the seeds out of your peppers, your bell peppers, uh, your jalapenos and these serranos. Um, you don't want any seeds in your chili, so um, just make sure to get all of the seeds out. And it also is gonna take a little bit of spice away. Uh, we want a little wang to this chili, but we don't want it to be so spicy that some people aren't gonna like it. So uh, you'll taste a little bit of the peppers. Once we get all of these veggies in there, get them nice and sauteed, um, you'll get a, some great flavor from the chilies but you're not gonna get any huge spice from it. I really can't express enough how important it is to do this on the grill. Um, you're really gonna get some of that great grill flavor, especially in the meat. And then once we, when we saute the veggies, the veggies are gonna soak in some of that grill flavor too. It's not too much, it's not overwhelming. It's just enough to know that, you know what? I think he cooked this on the grill. So, um, so yeah, I think you'll really, really enjoy this chili. Uh, we're about to get this meat off in just a second and throw those veggies on. I wish you could smell it, it smells so good. Uh, Brooke's inside, she's going, she's all, she went ahead and she's getting all of the spices together. Uh, we're, we'll be dumping that in and all at once. You, all of that will be in the description below so you don't, have, you don't have to sit here and say, okay, measure this out. You know, I don't want to waste your time, I want to respect your time. So uh, all of the spices we'll just dump in at once, make sure it's mixed up real well. And uh, yeah, so from here on out, the next thing I'll show you is the veggie sauteing and grilling and then we'll show you what it looks like once we dump all of the tomatoes in and all of the beans in. All right guys, so I'm purposely leaving a little bit of drippings in there before we put our veggies in. And man, if you could just smell, you guys know how good it smells when onions are sauteing on the open fire grill. I'm try to get them in there without spilling them. All right, guys, so we'll leave this going for a little while. It smells like a festival. You know how they do when they get those, all the good onions going. It smells so good. Uh, we're gonna let this go for a good little while, okay? Because we want these, uh, we want all those onions and peppers to, uh, we want to retain the flavor, but lose some of that kick. Because we don't, like I said, we don't want super spicy chili. Um, so we'll let them cook for a good long while and we'll be back in we a second. We got these veggies cooked down pretty darn good. Um, I'm going maybe 15 minutes or so on a pretty darn hot Dutch oven. So we're going to go ahead and spread those out and I'm going to dump our meat back in. All right. Get that going again. I hope you can hear that. And I wish you could smell it, because it smells incredible. But I'm kind of glad you can't smell it, because maybe you'll try this for yourself. Just give this a really good mix. We're about to start dumping our other ingredients in, so... All right, I think I've got the veggies and the meats mixed up fairly well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with our tomatoes, diced tomatoes, fire roasted, okay? You can get that option in most vlogs. So we're gonna do, throw that in there with the juice. Okay, we want that juice in there. It's one big can and one small can. So we'll dump that in. Also, you've got fire roasted Rotel. So everyone loves some good Rotel. Dump that in there. And now we're gonna get that, all that mixed up really well before we add our beans. Now you notice I haven't put the spices in yet. I'm gonna mix all the spices really well and then sprinkle it over the top. Make sure it's evenly distributed. Um, we're, we're gonna cook it for a while anyway, so there's a good chance. Now if you didn't want be beans, this, you just go ahead and put your beef stock in right here. Um, put your beef stock in. Let me turn you around right quick. Show you what we've got. So this is what we're rocking with so far. It looks really good. Smells incredible. 
Uh, we do a couple of cans of rinsed beans. If you don't like beans in your chili, then don't put them in there. You should be fine. You'll just go ahead and put your beef stock in and all your spices and let it cook for a while. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take this off of the grill. It's been going for about a good 20 minutes once it's all been mixed up. All the spices have been uh, simmering in there and all the meats and veggies are all getting their all flavors mixed into each other. So the next step is super important. All right, so the chili's ready to go. Uh, you can definitely eat it right now. But have you ever had an experience where you had leftovers the next day and you thought to yourself, man, I think that was better than the first time around. Well, I think that happens quite often with chili. So I purposely made this the day before we're gonna eat it. I'm gonna throw it in here in the crock pot here and tomorrow we'll warm it up, but it's gonna sit overnight and everything's gonna mend together. And man, I really think it makes a big difference. This is really great chili as it sits right now, but I think it just adds a little bit more to it when it's left over. So we're gonna purposely leave it over for tomorrow. All right, everybody, so that pretty much wraps it up. I've got round two going now. The veggies are here. The browned meat is here. Uh, my suggestion on eating this, like I said, eat it tomorrow, okay, because it's better after it's been sitting for about 24 hours. And get you a big old cast iron skillet, make you a pone of cornbread to soak up all those goodies. Have a good one, everybody. We hope you get to try this chili. It really is awesome stuff. Hey, if you do, comment below and let us know what you think. And make sure to subscribe.